hello aries welcome to my channel this is sage the intuitive and i am here to do a general love reading for your sign so we're going to see what comes out this is for aries sun moon rising venus placements um this is also for the aries cross watcher or if you just stumbled across this channel this message could be for you so if you're Aries and you're watching or you're repping Aries in some manner, it's in your chart somewhere in the comment section, put an Aries symbol, right? Let me see you guys wrap it in the comments. All right, let's go on. Let's see what is going on in love for Aries, please. Very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Hmm. So some of you are in a in a state are in some type of mindset that you're like kind of it's like you're on the verge right you're on the verge of maybe maybe you haven't found anyone yet um you also have to stay optimistic about your love life some of you have thought like okay enough of this enough of love um maybe you're starting to kind of feel a certain way about you finding a partner in some aspects um we also have soulmate yes this is your soulmate um so for some of you you are trying to decide like where do i go from here right um you may know that you want to connect with a soulmate. You may know that you want love in your life if you're single, but you may have lost a little bit of um, confidence in the love department, a little bit of faith in the love department. So this is why it's saying like, look, this could happen for you very soon. It's basically like it's right around the corner for many of you. It's just a matter of continuing to have positive thinking around what your love life will look like now for some of you you have someone on your mind um that could potentially be a soulmate for you and you know that but things to me seem like they could be strained at this time so again it's about staying optimistic about what your love life is going to bring let's see what else is going on for aries and love please what else is happening for aries and love obsession so some of you could um be obsessed with um either the thought of love having love having a particular person that you are trying to connect with that you feel is a soulmate to you and you're having like these obsessive thoughts about um this particular person or it could be them about you um because maybe you had some type of passion with them um you to connect it on that level but you also are needing to realize that things happen for a reason so maybe if you are separated from this person there's a particular reason that you're separated from this person it could be a lesson that you need to learn or it could be this sense of you know you wanting this person so so bad but you are wow dismissing red flags that this person gives you because you're so obsessed with the thought of having um someone yep you could be addicted to having things your way or having a particular person and if they don't come in the way that you want them to come in like these are thoughts that are kind of like it could in a way they could be crippling you right um allowing you not to see things clearly and um really needing to take a step back and really evaluate what it is and maybe that's why it's saying very soon clearly decide what it is that you want because this person that you potentially are obsessing about is that really who you want are you pushing red flags aside because you are addicted to having this particular person um and maybe not realizing that you're not with them for a particular reason um, we also have patience so everything will unfold in divine timing so this is 
um, if a person is meant for you, guess what? It's saying that it will unfold. You have played hard. So you need to find time to really um, focus back on yourself, to have some fun, to um, potentially enjoy yourself at this time. Because I really feel like this is... Um, this is not this is not for people that are already in a relationship um you may feel that you and this person have a lot of chemistry with each other again could be potentially why you you could potentially you know skip the red flags on on this because there was some type of chemistry at some point between you and a person but then um there seems to be a lot of rejection energy around this as well which is what's um adding to this obsession there also is some type of interference here so person place or thing but there could be some type of external thing that is causing this not necessarily to work out like you are wanting but again for some of you you're whatever you're wanting is more of an obsession you're addicted to having things the way you want them and they're not working out um you could be go trying to go through an awakening but you may be just having issues because you're not practicing adequate self-care you're um, not clearing your energy field and um you need to focus on yourself before you can try to um heal or focus someone else or think that you are healing someone else um because it could be that things that are are not working out because there's something that you need to do not because it's something that the other person needs to do now take it as it resonates because this is a general reading so what i'm saying that is you could specifically be the other person right um if you want more clarity in your own situation you can contact me and i could give you a um, private reading um some of you need to learn the lesson of forgiveness uh you may have a tendency not to forgive people even if you say you do do you really so really evaluating that thinking about that am i really um forgiving and learning in this situation because you have to forgive but you learn from that situation um someone here wants to be vulnerable or maybe wanting i feel like this is that you want a particular person to be vulnerable with you you want them to trust you and tell you things um but they aren't doing that and so that is um that is frustrating for you some of you need to lean into the support from your friends um people that are close to you um, regarding this situation so it's a matter of yes you need to stay optimistic about your love life but also be um be realistic with yourself as well and um see if it's some things you need to be to have healed if it's things another person ha um, needs to heal and um stopping you know with obsessive thoughts and here we have soulmate so there's a person here that you um want to be your soulmate or you feel like is your soulmate here or use for some of you you're needing to know that your soulmate is coming very soon yep with new love your soulmate is coming very soon so just be mindful of that um some of you are using work as a way to um not think about <laughs> this particular thing uh, uh this person place or thing whatever it is you you're using work um as like a you know a pastime even though just to try to get those obsessive thoughts you're like oh yeah well i'm just gonna work 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 so some of this is saying that you need to have fun and bring more fun into your life um some of you could be expecting some type of apology at some point from a person but here we have balance so in this situation someone here is giving too much into this relationship so either you or the other person but it is not balanced whatever this um, connection is somebody here is doing too much and um, the other person is basically taking taking it you know um, so just be mindful of um, balance some of you are needing to work on on that some of you are needing to work on um, boundaries with this balance card here is something about your boundaries that are not um, adding up here 
someone here could have a lot of options and they could be feeling like they're sh being strung along so you may need to release some someone from your past i did see the camera card so someone from your past so that you can get this um the love that you are really wanting yeah for some of you this is over like back to back coffin and the grim reaper for some of you this situation is not going to go anywhere um it just is what it is it's just not going to go anywhere um you are needing to grow and know that every time there's some type of ending there is going to be a new beginning the new beginning could be a more evolved um version of this person or it can be a brand new person altogether um but yeah i'm not seeing uh that it is this person and again we're talking about boundaries not today so someone here is being avoided somebody avoids your phone calls your text messages they avoid seeing you in person um and you or if you do you if it's you you're that's doing this or the other person someone is hurt behind this because um or someone here is angry behind this but for some of you, you need to release a particular person that is not serving you and not giving you the, um, I, what's the word I'm looking for? Attention. They're not giving you the attention that you deserve yet. And still you may really are, you, you may be fo so focused on this one particular person that you're not even allowing anyone else to come in because this person is in your energy yet yeah, because they broke your heart. Um, you're hurt by whatever it is or however they act and such you're you are serving as the chaser again this could be you this could be the other person but you're chasing this person this is a sign of codependency this is also a fear of abandonment issues as well so these are things that may may need to be hidden that's why i said when we had the balance card that someone is giving too much or doing too much in a situation that they are not getting their needs fulfilled fulfilled by it but the other person is getting their needs fulfilled because they don't have to do anything you know right they don't have to date you because they know you're going to do what they want you to do anyway or vice versa right so they don't have to to do that you're needing to make healthier choices and your um love relationships and bring more balance that is what's going to bring you more happiness you need to focus on your self-care and self-love um the people you have in your life could be a reflection of how you feel about yourself and um i know there are times where sometimes we could we could say well i'm very confident i'm this i'm that but then your relationships that you bring into your life do not reflect that so that means that there is some type of wound there is some type of um healing that needs to be done in order to um not attract that type of energy into your life because you're basically attracting what you are trying to heal into your um into into your atmosphere what's some final messages for aries and whomever they are thinking about or like new love what are some final messages please Some of you need to free yourself from this situation. This has been taken. This has taken a long time. And it's just saying that it's just time for you to, to free yourself. Yes. The answer is yes. Yes. I'm telling you the right thing. That it is time for you to free yourself from this situation. You really are wanting this person to be vulnerable with you. You want them to be happy with you. Yet and still they aren't putting in a lot of work you want this person to fall in love with you yet you're feeling depressed at the end of the day you're worrying about things um when it relates to this particular person anything else for aries yep this is just a karmic cycle um so while some of you may feel like and i think i said that in the beginning where i felt like some of you think a person is your soulmate and they probably aren't they could be just um and they could you know they could be obviously people are here and things to help us learn something and help us evolve um 
but this could be just a karmic cycle that needs to close out and so while you feel that maybe this is your soulmate or maybe this person feels this way and this could be completely not you at all this could be this person even though you feel that way um it, it is an illusion that that is what it is so this is what i have for you um aries yeah for some of you this is just a superficial bond that it was supposed to bring you into some period of discovery yep so that makes perfect sense this is what i have for you aries don't forget to like share subscribe and certainly leave me a comment i will see you soon take care